my French polishing, I've been using Rectified Spirit, the pure alcohol with no nasties. Because I was concerned that the purple dye in methylated spirits would be visible. Um, the instructions on the, uh, the shellac flakes say to use methylated spirit and indeed on here one of the uses is listed as French polish. So I thought I'd do a little check to see whether the dye in this is visible when all the alcohol evaporates. I'm just going to paint some on here. A little bit about the composition of this. I managed to get hold of the data sheet for this product and it contains the following it contains ethanol well that's good that's that's alcohol and then it contains 2 propanol butanone and denatonium benzenate uh, 2 propanol is more commonly known as isopropyl alcohol <clears throat> which i think will be familiar to a lot of people who've cleaned gunk off stuff in a workshop uh, butanone has another name of methyl ethyl ketone um, it's just another solvent. So these two are, are, are just solvents. Um, this one though, denatonium benzoate, is a very bitter tasting um, chemical and denatonium, the clue's in the name, it's, uh, it's, it's a denaturant. Uh, benzoate, this is not benzene. It contains a benzene ring but it's not benzene and doesn't appear to be particularly toxic. It is actually used to, um, according to Wikipedia anyway, to um, make uh, placebo pills bitter in, uh, in drugs trials. So one would hope it's not too toxic. It, it's an irritant, cute toxicity. There are, it, it's certainly not a nice product, but um, <coughs> the point is I don't think any of these things will kill you. This is actually EU standard formulation for methylated spirits. And despite the name, it does not contain methanol. Annoyingly though, this doesn't tell me what the dye is that's used. Uh, a little bit of research suggests it's usually something called methyl violet, or methyl violet, which I, I, it is unrelated to the name I think, but maybe they, they, they feel that by adding methyl violet they can still call it methylated spirits, um, even though it doesn't contain methanol, I don't know. If it is methyl violet, and I only have my suspicions, that, I believe, is a crystalline solid. Which doesn't give me much optimism that it's going to evaporate. We'll see. So for this test, all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint methylated spirits onto the paper. I've created a, a, a frame temporarily um, just from a clamp and a couple of offcuts, because I don't want the the paper. This is quite heavy uh, paper, 160 gram paper. It's it's a lot heavier than your normal um, printer paper. And uh, I just want it raised off the surface so that there's no chance of um, of the alcohol soaking up anything off the bench. Um, I want to keep this as pure as possible. And I'm just going to keep painting the meths on it and letting it evaporate, paint some more on and we'll see whether we can actually see the stripe that's created. Let it dry and repeat. <laughs> I'm fascinated by the fact that I can't actually see it drying in real time. Okay, that looks like it's fairly dry. And I think what I'm seeing is a form of chromatography. I can see the edge of the stain darker than the rest of it. And I think what's happening is that the, I'm going to call it methyl violet if it is that, but the, the dye is migrating to the outside. 
a la chromatography. So I'll keep doing this and hopefully we'll see a much darker stain and it will illustrate the problem. I'm not sure whether that was eight or nine coats, but I think we can see that it's fairly conclusive that the dye does not evaporate. So if you're going to be using a light coloured shellac, which I will be, this is something you need to be aware of. Now clearly the, the, the dark pigment around the edges is the chromatography effect, where the dye has migrated. But <laughs> you can see it, certainly in this test. In applying French polish, maybe it's not visible if it's a dark finish with dark shellac. Yes, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But if you're going to be using blonde shellac on a spruce fronted guitar, hmm, <laughs> I don't know that I'd be confident to use meths with shellac based on this test. What do you think? Let me know, comment below. I hope this has been useful. Bye.